Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the UMC United Submod for Hearts of Iron Forum. Your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. But today we uh, talk about talk talk about Yugoslavia seeking to sign the Tripartita Pact. Telegram arrived from Prince Paul to Prandenburg today, expressing interest in signing a pact of non-aggression with the uh, certain powers of the world. Fearing of a Soviet invasion and growing nationalism with his nation, Pinter's politics to align himself with the German Reich. Though this does not signify an official alliance, it does help bring Yugoslavia closer into our sphere of influence and will expedite the process of Yugoslavian entrance into the Axis. Um, I kind of don't want the Yugoslavian Axis in the Axis. I kind of want to see a very long, strong, everyone but Yugoslavia. Um, uh, other visions for Yugoslavia. Mm. But also at the same time, I mean... I mean, this stuff could be given to Bulgaria, maybe, but not really. Uh, I, I'm going to be playing this, this mod again, so you know what? For now, that's okay. We'll see. But we're trying to form the Rex Commissary Outs. At this point, we're just trying to form a lot of things and get through a lot of the focuses, but we'll see what happens. And there's no uh, thing there, but whatever. Um, and Spanish German trade obligations. Resources were needed. We must find another source. All right, that's fine. You know, the German Velka, Germanische Velka. Uh, Eastern Integrated Gross Deutsches Territory. Sudova. Where is Sudova? Sudova? Oh, I need to take out these guys. You know what? We might as well. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're on the board. Though. That's fine. Oh, where are you guys at? Oh, uh, you want to invade those guys too. Which doesn't make sense. And invade those guys too. Yeah, we couldn't quite invade that time. Sorry, there's been quite a few days since the end of the last video and this video. So, yeah. And right now we're still at war with the allies, which does kind of suck. So I think for this one, we're going to just try to eliminate pretty much everyone else. Um, we've got to get through some comments as well. We'll see about Yugoslavia, we'll, but we'll see about them. And pretty much try to invade everyone else. Japan's done very well. The comment turns still exists for some reason, but you know, whatever. Um, Andres. There you go. Yeah, and what, still 1.2 million manpower, which is not bad. And of course we'll get more, a lot more manpower back once we actually like can do stuff. You know, uh, do two for now. We don't have a ton of civvies. You can finish that one first. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, although this does not signify yet that Yugoslavia is doing acts to show growing allegiance between the two nations and the principal may hold some uh, fascist sympathies. We may expect a German responses were in development, but Adolf Hitler thus remains on this issue. Um. Wow, well, they're not very fascist at all, are they? Let me take a look here. Let's see. So there's all this stuff for Yugoslavia. Zara for Axis membership. Certain Italian claims. I'll see what they do. Um. Yeah. I just see what they do. It's not gonna be perfect how we do this, but whatever. More of here. Oh. Hey, ten destroyers have been sunk. Nice. Do we have any other planes around here? So another thing above fighters. It's not going to do very much over there, but whatever. And then passive defense, not bad. One last one, sorry, that's not bad. A lot of cast, which we love, 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 love. I was hoping we'd have some more naval bombers, but apparently we do not. The Jewish Volka, might as well. I'm dealing. <clears throat> oh, look at that, very nice. Option capture, proclaim the dust, right, which we saw, which, which we can just do infinitely now. So, that's a little bug, but we said that last time. Increase their influence? Sure, why not? French attitude towards co cooperation is negative 52. I don't know why it's so low. Very low control over the state functionings. Oh, well, whatever. War bonds? Sure, why not? And improve the armed situation. German, probably German government? Yeah, why not? Regional integration. Tungsten, steel, chromium. Pretty much good everything but oil. Which is, you know... Pretty normal for Germany. Yeah, that's okay. It's a little ahead of time. Don't really care at this point. So we're gonna establish all of these things from the northeast Reichskommissariats. Um, England. Let's start with something else. Sud Frankreich. Ukraine. Don Volga. Ossetia Gebita. Oslin. I love Oslin, but we don't have them all yet. Let's do Ukraine. Why not? Hey. Hey, you can work in the factories question. You're going to that, please. You're ahead. Short work hours. Speer versus Himmler. Um, where are we at? 
Negative 47 outrage is not good. Himmler is not very high up either. Yeah, do that one. That's fine. Decryption. Nice. Encryption. Very good. 41. Coordination, stuff like that. And these guys are not going to survive against us, so. Join the Allies, but I don't think anyone really cares. I'm going to do a cup of coffee here, too. Eastern Integrated Gross Deutsches Territory. Nice. And just mob them up. Alright, so after that, can we go to war with Denmark? I'm going to do a Vesa Ubung, but whatever. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Another division there? No. Alright. Go and trade as well if you need to. Appease them. Might as well. They're still outraged. Hopefully we don't have a civil war, but you never know. Um, we don't have enough armored cars. Oh yeah, we're really lacking a crap ton of armored cars. That's right. Are they out of guns? No, we got a quarter million. Um... Jalen, not bad. Good medium tanks. <coughs> Maybe more. Yeah, that'd be fine. Cool. So we don't need as many light tanks now. And they're still fighting in Africa. Oh my goodness. Dudes, y'all, really? And fighters will be okay. I want more cast. It's fine. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, of course, we used to they convert to medium tanks. My bad. That'll be good. And engineers, yeah, why not? There we go. Oh, convoy's being sunk. Sunk a destroyer, another early destroyer. Force it. <coughs> there we go. And there goes Denmark, nice. That maybe pretty good. Oh, not bad. Oh, we actually did land. Look at that. Forgot about that. Trumpet will's gone. It's fine, whatever. Oh, last couple convoys. Last couple subs though. Hey, Ireland's gone too. Very nice. Deal with them up here. It's fine. You should do fine. No issues, really. Oh, actually, they even made it up here, huh? Nice. Very good. Fifteen, sixteen divisions dying. Nothing like it. Beautiful. We have like no ships. All right, and then, ooh, other ship hold twos. Put some raiders on those bad boys. Still level one for that. Not good. Battleship ship armor twos. Do we have any of better than this? No, we do not. Plenty of chromium for that now. Cool. All right. Who's next? Kingdom of Greece is gone. Good job, Italy. Finally. A little ahead of time. Grab some better artillery, which we've not done yet. Let's go take a while to do. So, Baltic Germanization Act. 
Um, Battle of the SS. We could. From the Contra Legion. Oh no, there's just not much else to do. I mean, I mean don't get me wrong, there's a lot to do, but we're going to do a, another campaign in this eventually as well. Hey, Yugoslavia. Evil fully annex Yugoslavia. Oh. Because there's so much to do. It's almost like, maybe just a little bit too much to do, but I don't want to say that just because I like seeing how much there could be for us to do here. I want to name it Weisskopf's Seattle. It's easy to relocate French industry. Increase cooperation with local populace. It's not bad. Improve the Atlantic Wall, enact harsher tax quotas. Uh, increase Vichy's territorial mandate. Easy occupation costs. Gradual return of French POWs. Support the old Marshal. Call in our own colonies. Increase influence of Hitler. If you want to do that, please go ahead. I gotta do this one. We are maintained by the Spearman Organization, so. Formalize the Unlikely Alliance. I mean, I want to do all these, but we'll get there eventually. Maybe. And maybe another campaign. Best of Ubum. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, 35 days. Conquer times. So. Nice. You get a research bonus, too. Not bad. So we have to come down here and take out the allies this way. Which means. Um, I'm gonna send these guys down here. British operative captured. Let's get rid of a lot of the planes. I wish you just auto convert planes, but it just does not. Which makes sense to a degree, but like, come on, man. I don't want to deal with all these extra planes. Alright. And then, actually, we'll send half of them somewhere else. Over here. Modern field radio. It's a bit of radar. <clears throat> get some naval bombers here, too. We have more than enough. Hundred fighters here, and then nice. There you go. You can still appease them if you want, I don't really care. Um, now it's 52, 99%. And now that we have Lithuania, how do we do Arx Commissariat Austin? Oh, I love how that looks. I'm gonna really reduce how much, how many factories we actually do have, but that's okay. Um, can you build anything here, maybe? Just so it's not so god awful when fighting down here. Guys, you might want some rail lines. And you might want some supply hubs. Uh, sure, Japan will help you out or give us stuff. Yeah, uh, so cool. Um, nuclear stuff. Oh, there goes Japan. They can do with fighting those guys for now. And they join the Allies, of course. Well, whatever. Ah, there's still soldiers here, okay. You know what, can I just take you? You do that. This is a talk on national security. Alright, um... Well, Hong Kong, alright, well, whatever. Split America into two, probably. Ah, they're trying to invade, I see. Good. Starting to see a lot more of this stuff, which is good. Ah, some American stuff, too. Can you go? Go ahead if you can. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, there you go. Additional garrison. From the establishment of the first Rex Commissariat on the conquered Soviet territories, we have faced a number of difficulties of managing the territories. But a number of edicts and organization efforts have uh, the Iraq's commissariat Ukraine managed to research and level of successful government. The biggest problem, however, is 
which prevents the achievement of long-term stable stability remains. That is a lack of adequate armed garrison that will keep the communist rebels and local resistance fighters in check. Because what we're asked by the Reichsministerium for the Besetzen ob Ostgebiete in behave of a cock to provide additional troops and war material to ease the situation in the Reichs Commissariat, creating simply the work of managing those territories. Cope on their own. Must have a lot of stability. Oh god. All that map just died instantly. Don't make divisions. That's the problem with actually doing this. Um, yeah. You need to get rid of that too. Holy crap, that's really bad. Like, we're struggling with it, but like... And it's still going down for us, but still. Um, Gestapo into divisions. Uh, it doesn't really help us put down more resistance. Yugoslavia. Mm. Ooh, armor research. That's not bad. Went to the collaboration. Is anything for resistance? No, not quite. We have wolf. Yeah, not really. All right, so whatever. <clears throat> Hmm. Add war economy, which actually would hurt our weekly stability, which I don't like. And war support. We don't have to go there, so we don't need to go there. Equipment capture ratio. Hmm. Oh, I can do U boat. Expand economical co cooperation? Might as well. For now, since America is getting involved, we definitely, 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 definitely have to garrison a lot of these areas. Which means we really need to focus on a fleet. Uh, there you go. You guys come up here. Well, it's definitely better for the armored car situation. Much better situation for armored cars, actually. Right, if you keep bombing them, they'll do well. Alright, let's take a look, see. Naval bomber's still okay. Almost 90 armored cards a day. But um, some comments said, I miss playing the UMC mod when back when the working target came out. Hope you divide the world with Japan and recreate the Man of High Castle. There's a focus to you about that. Someone said, back to our usual long, hour long videos. And someone else says, beautiful. And yes, I am. But yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lower the bad one other penalty. Oh. Demands increase buff funding for Luffafo. Where are we at with all this? 13. Growing is enough already. Wow. Just wow. That was actually very good. Oh, wait. We don't even have... Oh, we have you guys instead. Okay. Maybe these guys are probably a bad idea, but whatever. Philippines is gone, follow Manila. Nice. Yeah, you guys got to put down a lot of resistance. Oh my goodness.
Um, where's it? Oh, it's really bad in the UK. Holy crap. <clears throat> yeah, I really do not want to put down um, any more Rex Commissars because resistance is so high. Hello. Hungry. Oh. Whatever. Karen fought the UK Navy. It's good. And some American ships, too. Nice. Resistance, 41. Some better planes, maybe. Close air support. Cast near. Well, we'll see if we actually get carriers or not. Honestly, we probably won't even use carriers, so there's no point in getting that one. Tactical bombers. Oh, they're trying to invade down there. Huh, very good. Economic cooperation. Africa Corps capabilities in Libya. You know what? Sure, why not? The Africa Corps has, has been in Libya for some time and adapted well to the climate and battlefields of the desert. We'll send them some arms and material to make them more effective and strengthen their troops. Oh, we got Alexandria. Good job, guys. Loza requires additional German troops. We're going to do that. Please go ahead. Fine. Not bad. Trucks. Yeah, we're done with trucks. About 8,000 a month, which is not bad, actually. Only 24%, which does suck. But now we have it. Okay, whatever. Um, armor stuff, light tanks, maybe better light tanks. Let's see. Oh, we just we just lives showed up. Okay. Whatever. Medium, oh, we're out of a lot of medium tanks. That's getting so much better. Fall of Cairo, good. Uh, this one, uh, it's not bad to do. But this Graf Zeppelin will be the first of the German aircraft carriers with pride, new pride of the Iraq's Creek Marine. However, its completion will not be easy as all. Their engineers have only limited experience with the construction of these types of ships. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Should help save some serious manpower. <clears throat> Sweden, just in case. You guys as well. Oh, it's gonna be god awful trying to fight through there. That radar's not bad. Trying not targeting. Sure, why not? Keep going in. You're doing a great job, guys. Oh, we can't even piece Himmler now. Never mind. Just basically cheat for it. Minus 52. War bonds. I don't want to hurt ourselves too much. We'll get agent recruitment. Don't care about that stuff. I want to create these, but it's just... <clears throat> they don't get cores, which is going to hurt them a lot. Because look over here now. Resistance is still 78%. Like, if we, if we directly own it, we can do stuff with that. But we don't. And it sucks. After Graf Zeppelin. Yeah. Deutsche Afrika Corps. The Afrika Corps, elite German expeditionary force in Africa. First, they performed as a mere holding force, was later expanded by the Panzer Army Africa, and also received command ship over Allied forces fighting on the German side. So. I think in this episode, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll take out as many people, people as we can, and in the next episode, which will be the last one, we'll try to, um, the cave, that's fine, I don't care, um, invade basically the Americas. This episode's all about trying to wrap up a whole bunch of other things here, as my voice is starting to die for some reason.
Oh boy. Um, oh, do we get rid of that one guy? Oh, we did. That was nice. Um. Oh, yeah, this one. This is for significant bonuses. Repeatable three times. I mean, that'd be nice and all, but I don't really want to do that. Okay, W request additional funds for additional aids. Graf Zeppelin launched. Nice. Oh, we got 1940s carriers. Oh, this one. I purposely ignoring the Treaty of Versailles, which forbid us to launch any aircraft vessel. It was decided that in part of the Kriegsmarine rearmament, it was also be pursued the development of the first domestic built ship of that kind. On the 16th of November, 1935, the contract for a Flugzeugträger A, aircraft air A, was awarded the Deutsche Werke Shipyard in Kiel. The ship was later christened by Helena von Zeppelin, the daughter of the ship's namesake. <coughs> The ship will be 262.5 meters long overall, have a beam of 36.2 meters, and a maximum draft of 8.5 meters. At full combat low, the ship will have a displaced 30, over 33,000 long tons. The ship's uh, propulsion system will be consisting of four brown bovary and C geared towards turbines, with 16 oil-fired, ultra-high pressure Lamont boilers, which is rated at 200,000 shaft horsepower and a top speed of 33.8 knots. The ship's primary offensive power will be its aircraft component. Uh, Graf Zeppelin will carry 42 aircraft as designed, 12 navalized Junkers, Ju Junkers uh, Ju-87 uh, Stuka dive bombers, 10 Messerschmitt BF-109 fighters, and 20 Fissler Fi-167 torpedo bombers. As designed, Graf Zeppelin is to be fitted with 8 15 centimeters. SKC-28 guns for defense against surface warships and anti-aircraft battery consisted of 10, 10 and a half centimeters. SKC-33 guns, 22 3.7 centimeters uh, uh, guns, and 8, 28, 2 centimeter guns. Ship supply deck armors will be protected with up to 45 millimeters of Wotan white uh, steel armor. A 60 millimeter thick armored desk or deck will also be located under the deck to protect the ship's vital from aerial attack. She will, she will be operated with a crew of 1,760 men strong. After months of long hard work, the Graf Zeppelin, prior to the modern Kriegsmarine, was ready to be launched. At the launching ceremony, Herman Goring gave an encouraging speech, putting a special emphasis on the successful ongoing remembrance of the Kriegsmarine. We'll soon possess the most modern ship in the world and be the first one of many. Well, okay, we'll get him anyways. Um, I don't like mind that, because it actually helps out with the UGF, which would actually be pretty good. But it hurts or gives us more daily underline, which I don't like. This hurts daily compliance, which I don't like, but this does hurt resistance speed. And this also hurts uh, UGF. I love Reinhardt. Oh my goodness. Like... Go to war. We don't even have two million men in the field. <clears throat> like new daddy? No. So. Um, yeah. Do we have to have Reinhardt here? Oh. It's not a valid focus. It does not have the natural spirit germanization process. Oh. More than 75% stability. Oh. Oh, okay, so we need more stability. So that's probably the most important thing to get next. I could use more manpower. Oh, actually, we got, we got way more manpower than before. Okay. Um, nuclear war support? Yeah, no, that wouldn't be very good for us. Because other nations accept us? No. On portfolio? No, that hurt us with the other group. Autonomy from building. What does autonomy from building mean? I mean, it wouldn't really help us that much. It's not the Abbot Speer. Funk. Uh, yeah, no, Bernard Ross, we're done with him for now. Albert of Sauce would not be bad either, Fritz, Fritz Schmidt. And this would actually help us with, the, with UGF, which I think would be very good to do, just because, you know, they're minus 32, which is not terrible, but at the same time. Um, it does give us more data support for underline, but we would have Goebbels helping us out with that anyways. So, we try it, and get another operative slide anyways, so... Oh, I forgot about this stuff, too. Uh, we never got the guy up to where I wanted him to. Von Manstein, List. Infantry, Attack and Defense. I, mean, I think we're pretty good on Attack and Defense. Uh, experience gain. It's not bad. Model. I love Model. Dietrich. Let's go level 4, of course. Engineer and Jaeger. Static defense, which we're on the offense a whole bunch, so. <clears throat> Showing us not bad either, but. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep trying to clear my throat. Oh. Organization minister. Spock subject goes down by 10. Oh, we, oh, we did get a high enough. Oh, we, yes, we want this guy. Train penalty reduction. General max army group size. Maximum command power increase plus 50. And that's what helps, helps with a supply as well. We'll get him. Let's see what else we have here. Milsh. 
Um, we might want some guy for naval stuff. So let's at least grab you first. And then who else? You bought Flotilla. Let me retreat chance. Bay. Not bad. Uh, Teufel. Uh, so you can do bombing. Army XP gain. Max attrition plus five. That's not bad. Milch though. Air attack, defense. Do we have anything for... I guess we already have uh, Mancha and Klug. Yeah, we already have Mr. Uh, Close Air Support, so. So we need someone here, maybe. Milch. I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. Air mission efficiency. We're going to need some help with the Navy stuff, probably. Yeah. Naval A attack, screen attack and defense, which is okay. Naval speed, we don't have that many U-boats. Um, it does give you more attack and defense. Capital ship armor attack. You know what? Lutjens is the guy to go with for now. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness. Like, what's a light carrier? Probably cheaper to make. You know what? If we're gonna go big, ooh, converted battleship hole. We don't need these two, or this one. We do have some naval XP, so that's not bad. Uh, it's not bad. Carry engine three. I'm glad I didn't research these guys. Deck armor. Um, no, actually. <clears throat> we'll get there eventually. Another tank? Nice. And... What is this? Oh, more reliability for the tanks? Nice. Ooh. Oh, well, whatever. That helps with stability. At this point, you know what? I mean, it makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> for us to do this. Oh, it doesn't really make... Oh, it's cheating, basically. But whatever. I need the stability. We need the stability. So we'll see what happens with that. And go do focus. Whoops. Uh, Baltish uh, Germanization Act. Get a lot of cores. Germanization process. Ooh, that hurts us. <clears throat> Quite a bit, but we have to do it. Follow it up with Empower the SS. Limit Hitler's influence. Ooh. Well, let's go with. Let's just see. The Treaty of German Turkish Friendship. And. Uh, what else? Actually, have a more naval stuff. We should probably should focus on more naval stuff. So after that one, Erkredas Hoxi Flota. Erkredas Adolf Hitler dreams of a large German navy capable of ruling all the oceans. It can be, with a significant effort, accomplished. All right, everyone. So now we are doing a couple of other focuses. We got to talk about a couple things too, as well. Um, I've done one of them. Where, where was it? Ah, over here. We've done a centralized state management. The Volkswagen was designed by a Speer to be Germania's central building to show the power of the Reich to the whole world, with each side of it being 350 meters long and a height of 290 meters. It dwarfs every other building in a glorious capital. Additionally, the dome on top is the largest dome in the world with a diameter of 46 meters. It is even bigger than St. Peter's Basilica Dome. It's great. Uh, Germania's defense sector. The ensure the safety of our uh, great uh, Welthauptstadt, we will invest in building strong all-around defense. Include modern bunkers, rocket systems, anti-air towers, and professional military personnel to operate it. Expand Germania's laboratories. The great city uh, provides many mines, great mines. Our priority must be to build our modern research complex to provide suitable ground where they can operate. So I did all this stuff because um, I didn't know all this stuff. So this is not done yet in the mod, which is fine. You know, we'll play this mod again some other time. But the largest bu building project in human history is in process. Hundreds of thousands of workers, masons, glassmakers, roofers, and uh, soldiers gather in Berlin to work on what's going to be the future world city. However, nothing is given. Success or dreadfully failure of this project can rest on the First Reich's architect and his staff as the financial and human resources of the Reich must be properly estimated and everything must be successfully coordinated. Now, we're going to fail this because uh, it says that to achieve success of Germanic construction, we must complete all the mandatory projects. The following projects were the Vogtala, Praktali, Grosser Platz, and Triumphenbogen, or Triumphenbogen, and they're, they're not implemented yet, as far as I can tell. They might be, but I really don't think they are, just because it's not possible to do it yet. So just like all these Rex Commissariats, um, they're failing to a degree, just because they're not done yet, which is fine. You know, this mod is still in development, which I love. Uh, and this mod has... Uh, it, a lot of it's already done, and it's, it's great, but it's still being worked on. So uh, we're going to have to fail this, unfortunately. It sucks, but, you know, not really much we can do. We went to War with Sweden because we can. Um, they started forcing defense, so I just started to force attack. So uh, 50,000, not bad. I mean... Honestly, not much has really gone on, so. But I did want to let you know that we'll probably fail that. Not our faults, but, you know, whatever. Uh, German Laboratories, why not? <coughs> the Labans Born Program. Um, that'd probably be good to get more political power. Monthly population goes way up. 
Uh, at this point, political power doesn't really matter too much, but I want to keep doing focuses that require, uh, oh, limited interference. Um, I wouldn't mind doing this, but only if it would like help lower resistance and stuff. And also, we can't do West Ukraine because the German general government, which we did release, uh, uh, final Germanization is not a valid focus for trigger, which does suck. So we can't get all this stuff either, um, dude. So yeah, but we're improving our navy, and yeah, overall not bad. Hungary's looking pretty mightily thick. Um, I might just give that back to Romania. We'll see. Or Ukraine. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have Hans Frank down here in Poland, which is not bad. Um, you guys are doing okay. Uh, also, we did do one of the focuses, and they just... Uh, we did do this one. This one, the Baltic Germanization Act. So we got cores on all the stuff, which is great. These guys are still suffering very greatly, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, overall, not bad. Now, what do we have down here? Reinforce plus 3%. Uh, that was more stop attack, which is pretty good. And nothing for that one. Okay, huge city encirclements. Doesn't do anything. This is not bad. We're using a lot of armored cars for garrisons and stuff, so. But if it doesn't give us any more hardness, it doesn't really help us out. Uh, soft attack, some more soft attack. Damage garrisons. Ooh, we need that. Any parts and duties, yeah. Organization, yes, please. That'd be great. Ooh. Well, that's not us. So, whatever. Whatever. Other than that, we're doing quite well. Um, Italy's doing quite well in Africa now, which is awesome to see. Um, so yeah, and here upgrades are not bad. They come over here, specialized stuff. Don't really do that. Himmler wishes to recruit more Waffen SS units. Uh, where are we at for this? Minus 36. I don't want to hurt this stuff. Himmler, uh, increase this. We keep doing this stuff here, securing more loyalty, so I'm kind of okay with that for now. Ooh, not bad. Not bad either. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Slowly just closing in on Sweden. So, um, air stuff. We're almost done with the air. Ground attack factor. But maybe a couple more focuses too. Let's do some stuff that we can't do. Like we'll continue doing that one. Uh, military technology collaboration with the Japanese. Uh, we shall take our revenge together. Esta Ami Rearmament. Uh, trade economic revitalization perhaps. And we'll probably do an independent sea uh, lufafa. We have, no, however, newly built Graf Zeppelin carrier class, but we lack the air ex plane experience and depend on the Luftwaffe to help overseas. This will change. We seek help from our Japanese allies and learn to manufacture our own carrier-based planes effectively. And Bismarck class battleship. The battleship of the Kriegsmarine is becoming outdated. The heart of our navy, we ever yet even imagined, challenge a Franco-British navy might. We must develop the most modern battleships that ever existed. Look at the Bismarck class as highest adapt for this role. Expand the cruiser fleet. Modernizing your fleets is the main priority. And to begin with, we should start improving our cruisers and U-Boot-Waffe. Still, they have submarine warfare. <clears throat> Perfectioning it and improving the production lines gives us a chance to mass produce our U-boats and find the perfection of our designs and tactics. The Turks accept our German Turkish treaty. Once again, our two nations stand together. So we have a non-aggression pact, which is fine, 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 fine. Uh, clear disagreement. Might as well see what we can do about that. Maybe we'll add them in. Maybe we won't. But you never know. Um, other than that, we've just been kind of hanging out. We've been doing quite a bit better in Africa, as you can tell. Um, we got a war with Iran. Took them out. We're at war with the British Raj, of course. Um, Japan's doing very, very well in the Pacific, so I'm actually very pleased with how they're doing. Even though they might be potential enemies, but probably not. Like I said, next episode we'll be doing Man High Castle stuff. Iceland joined us, actually, because the Allies went to war with Iceland, so not bad for us. Um, Carrier Holes, Graf Zeppelin is, well, it's alright. It's not as good as this one, though, so goodbye. Um, anything else? Really, not too much. We're making four of them, which I don't see a point in making those. These guys are just superior, so. Get some of that too. Because we can. And get some more subs. Because subs will actually. Well, they'll be alright. They're not perfect. They're not great. But they'll be alright. Get a whole mess of them. Yeah. Other than that, um, I did use some God's commands. That's why Austin and Ukraine looks worse. Uh, just to get through some of these focuses, such as these ones. Just to see what would happen. Um, but yeah, this is still not. Like I said, it's not in the game yet, really. I might release, re-release all of them, but we'll see what happens. Lebensborn program? Uh, Lebensborn EV, or the Font of Life, is a program with the goal to artificially increase the birth rate of the Aryan children. To ensure that a dominant race will survive, we started to stop abortion by offering anonymous childbirths and giving the children free for adoption. Also, we have to make sure that all Aryan children in the newly conquered regions are raised by Aryan parents under the Germanic ideals. Pretty much. Okay, overall, not bad. Mm, struggling there, but whatever. What else is new? Actually, we can. Got any naval bombers? Oh, we got plenty. Do some of that there. Put some supply through there, too, because you can. 
yeah, other than that, we're still looking pretty good. Not too bad. Can go to war with these guys as well. We really wanted to. Why not? See what we can do. Smoke generators are not bad for the naval stuff. Destroyer is probably not going to use those in this campaign. Increasing SS influence in Hitler. You can, if you don't know about that, please go right ahead. Um, where are we at for relationships? 12 is pretty low already. We need more of this, so. Himmler will be fine with it for now. He'll deal with it. Um, you three? I wonder him. There you go. It's not bad. <coughs> oh. Oh, crap. We could. Oh, makes up. Great. Could have gone to war with the Iraq, but I forgot about that. Group docking rights. Uh, we could trade expansion of Spain's dockyards for docking rights, and he's. It would provide us with a perfect position last U boat. Strikes and allies? Sure. I did forget about this, though. Oh, you guys are the tanks over here. And you know what? Come to the Middle East. fine. At this point, might as well. Sure, guys, if you really want to help us out, that's fine. Uh, anything up here? We are going to get some flame tanks, which would be very nice. Doesn't cost very much. Anything else here? War bonds. Actually, it's, it's free to do war bonds. I mean, we lose some war support, but we get we, like, 0.6 weekly war support anyway, so. Better cruiser hulls, very nice. Torpedo stuff, very good. So, having six cruiser slots is very, very nice. I'll talk to you. We gotta do it with the French too, somehow, some way. We'll see about that. Ah, Mozilla's good. Okay, we can have that. Come over here, come on. And then bomb them in here. There we go. Looks a better. Start bombing the living crap out of them. Nice. We use a couple planes here and there, but that's okay. Um, political shifting, no one cares. Yeah, they're still outraged, which does suck, but whatever. Oh! Oh, that's poor That's not good. No, we're gonna need a lot of this, aren't we? Ah, Francisco Franco provides his docking rights. Great! Because Afghanistan. And a spy promoted. Form the Condor Legion. The Condor Legion was established to aid national Spain in civil war. Consisted of the Kampf Group of 80 Octon Oxish, with three squadrons of Junker 52 bombers, and the Jagd Group Octon Oxish, with three squadrons of Hills Heinkel HE 51 fighters. His mission was to provide a spur of the nationals to bomb enemy cities. Sure, why not? I live in Zborn Program, of course, we want to do that too, but you know, we'll get there. Um, oh, yeah. Also, we can do this side too. I didn't realize this. Uh, the Hellman Defense Doctrine, so that's not bad. More population. Oh, it was attack, though. That's not good. Oh, I'll get that one, too. Guerrilla Warfare. Why not? Cool. Cool. More than enough guns, actually. Yeah, we're not importing that anymore. Probably need to relance anyone, any more fuel from anyone else, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, look at all that stuff we've done. Oh, that's so nice. That's so beautiful. Hello. Alright, we definitely need a drastic increase of all this stuff. That's fine. From the kind of Legion. Uh, Civil War is won with the help of uh, Valangia's flags are seen all across Spain as we gain strong fascist allies in the southwest. We also gain much valuable experience in the armed conflict we participated in. Yeah, pretty much. Our resistance, though, it's not bad. It's actually, ooh, we're actually looking very good in France, which is awesome. Um, overall, not bad. Even England, which we should form a Rex Commissar at, but we're not doing that right now. Um, we can probably move you somewhere else, actually. Yeah, do Central England for now. It'll be fine. Still got ships there, but I'm not too worried about them. Go to war with these guys as well. I guess you can. A bit slave just force the attack. You'll be f oh, Japanese are here. Okay. Why not? You know? Not bad. I mean, the spot's gonna be really bad. Oh, the Roger's gone. Good job, guys. Oh, I finished him off. Good job. Baghdad is ours. Iraq is ours, too. Good, good, good. Um, cruiser holes. Like cruiser holes. Cruiser holes. Uh, we don't have a ton of naval XP, which does kind of suck. 
Rapid fire, light battery, two heavy me uh, mediums. Light cruisers. Control twos. Radar four would be very good. Cruisers. Uh, we don't need anti sub stuff for now. We can do that. 35 and throw on a medium battery. 40. That's all we can afford for now, which is okay. It's not great. But we'll deal with it for now. And then you guys help us to go to Saudi Arabia. Nice. That's good too. 1943. We should probably do some more industry stuff. Yes, please. Good. Just find that. Oh, we already are. Which is good. Ah. Uh, no. There you go. Can we go in? Might as well. Oman. Might as well. Germanization process is over. By the Schutzstaffe. Developer holdings in Spain after getting uh, access to vital resources in parts of Spain. We noticed that our, the former kingdom didn't take any action to develop these. With the current technology, we can make up for lost time without problems. Nice. Bulgarian's been wounded. Um, and we grow up in our, eh, It's not really worth it, but whatever. I got nothing else to do with our army XP. Uh, they're outraged, which means we might have civil war eventually. So, which should be a way to appease them. I mean, of course, technically we're still at war, which does suck, but still. We weren't fucking SS. No, unfortunately not. At least for now, because of course Italy says that they're doing all this stuff, but we're not going to give them anything here. Whatever. God, sending all these tanks down here is going to be a bad idea. Actually, that's maybe not a terrible idea. There we go. Psychological warfare is good. Thank you. Thank you. Got some on these. It's fine. Join the allies. No one cares, though. A lot of stability now, which is great. Better coordination, which is awesome. Airborne radar. Get some more of that, too. Quickly move through that territory. Japanese done very, very well. I'm very surprised how well they've done. Of course, they're not focusing on China at all, so I mean, that makes sense. How are we doing on support equipment? Ah, oh, 70. Not great. I suppose it could be a lot worse. I guess all. Torpedoes. Nice. Snorkels. Uh, get some medium stuff. There you go. You guys keep training for now. Cool. Oh, it's not a carrier. Nice. They'll hold for holdings in Spain. Green power. UK is a puppet. Free French forces is a puppet. So we gotta get rid of those guys. Spain does not exist. Or is in our faction. Wrong decisions taken in the conference could lead to war with European nations that are not yet in our sphere of influence. Oh boy. Yemen? Nice. Uh, guarantee greater Bulgarian borders? Sure. Why not? It's fine. Who else? Oh, you guys are still over here. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, we actually have a carrier. Look at that. Do we actually have any carrier fighters, though? That's fair sport. No. No, we don't. Now that's a problem. Laban's born. We're going to do that one, too. Oh. What are you guys doing over here? Probably get some carrier planes. Probably should. Laven's born program is not bad. Thanks have done great, 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 great. Um, let's see about Bulgaria soon. Um, in the meantime, I guess we'll probably just naval invade, can't we? Get rid of these guys. A little bit ahead of time. Grab that then. And then, I'm going to try to invade Malta, maybe? Close off everybody there? That's not a bad idea. Um, you can do some of that. You can do some of that. 
in case you really need it. How are we doing down here? Supplies are pretty bad, I know. Try that, maybe. If we get Spain into our lines, it'd be great, but we can't. So let's re up more things. Uh, finish lion, anti-Soviet stuff. Uh, grander of Northern Fish territory. Suggest military mission. Sure. Support Ankara, uh, for Shung Zentrum. Develop Turkish national industry. And of course, we're going to guarantee the Greater Bulgarian borders. Emphasis Greek natural resources, maybe, and even the Berlin a Athens access. Lufava and its stab chef. Lufava is an aerial warfare branch of the Wehrmacht, Germany's military air arms during the First uh, Weltkrieg, and the Luftstreichskraft of the Imperial Army and the Marine Fliege Abteilung of the Imperial Navy had been disbanded in May 1920 as a result of the terms of the Treaty of Versailles, which stated that Germany was forbidden to have any air force. The first steps towards Luftwaffe's formation was undertaken just months after Adolf Hitler came to power, Goring, a World War I ace, became a national commissar for aviation within the former Lufthansa director Erhard Milch as his deputy. In April of 1933, the Reich Aviation Ministry, Lu Reich's Luftfahrtministerium, was a Established. The LRM was in charge of the development and production of the aircraft. Goring's control over all aspects of aviation became absolute. On the 25th of March in 1933, the German Air Sports Association absorbed all private and national organizations while retaining its sports title. On the 15th of May 1933, all military aviation organizations in the RLM were merged, forming the Luftwaffe its official birthday. During that time, German pilots were trained secretly in violation of the treaty at Lipetsk Air Base in the Soviet Union. With the rise of the Nazi Party and the repudia repudiation of the Treaty of Versailles, the Luftwaffe's existence was publicly acknowledged on the 26th of February 1935, just over two weeks before open defiance of the uh, Versailles Treaty, though through German rearmament and conscription would be announced in March of 16th. 16th of March. Luftwaffe progress, constant expansion in order to transform into the most powerful air force in Europe. However, the question of his leadership now arises, goring knowledge of current aviation is put in question. He had last flown in 1922 and supposedly displayed a lack of understanding of doctrinal and technical issues in aerial warfare. Also, if you wanted to expand Luftwaffe, please go ahead. Therefore, it might be wise to let the more competent man in charge, Luftstreichskräfte Veteran Erhard Milch. Let's take a look here. Uh, they're plotting, which I don't like. Honestly, I don't really want to do a civil war with the unaligned German faction. I don't like that a lot. I wish there was a way we could increase um, possible uprising counter 56 and three times to take actions. I wish there was a way we could lower it. I mean, like, can we invest in like more general welfare for the German citizens or Aryan citizens and stuff like that? So, I wish there was stuff like that, but obviously we don't have that. Um, <clears throat> give his own honorable promotion that Luftwaffe will be overseen by more capable men. Ehad Milch takes full responsibility over Luftwaffe. Which helps. Which doesn't give us anything for the UGF. And he's already 73 there, so it is what it is. Um, at this point, also, I do want to let you know Hitler does have a worsening health, so if he does die, like, I just, I don't feel like invading anyone else then. We'll, we'll start invading a whole bunch of other people soon, but, um, really at this point, uh, this campaign is kind of over ish. But not really. I want to go through a lot of these focuses and then we'll, like, now talk about stuff and, uh, See what else we can do. Also, I didn't realize that these are not glitch. I realized, and I'm sure you put in the focuses or the co comments below, that, that the focus we need to do is general government final Germanization down here. But to do that, we got to resettle Polish citizens. But we need less than 10 percent resistance in the Polish state. So we'll do that one as well. The Germanization of newly gained territories must go on. To make a place for a supreme race, we must move out native Polish citizens and resettle them behind the Ural Mountains. Interesting. Um, so I kind of wish, honestly, this. I wish all the Lebensraum stuff was under one thing, which makes more sense in my opinion. Like, oh, Polish stuff? Oh, we gotta go through the, resettle the Polish people first before we can do Austin stuff, Ukraine stuff. So I think that would settle a bit better. I mean, I understand why it's here. Research Eastern Claims. It makes sense as well, but I wish all the Lebensraum was literally all under Lebensraum stuff and the general government upon Germanization. Original Polish territories are first to be integrated into Gross Deutsches Reich. This is the beginning of not the end of our expansion for much of the Lebensraum. This is the beginning, not the end. Expand the Reichswerk to Ost Deutschland. Uh, Sudentenländische Thribes of Werke AG. Oil and gas deposits in the Czech Republic are small and located mainly in southern Moravia. We'll set up Sudentenländische Thribes of Werke AG, a refinery company in Livdunov, in order to produce usable fuels from Czech brown coal. Its, its capital will be 100 million Reichsmarks, 98% of which will be over owned by the Altman Goring Werke. Nebelungen in Steyr Werke Panzer Plant. Uh, let's read that as we get, let time go on. Tanks are central for winning in armed conflict. We'll dress Steyr Werke to build the world's largest tank plant in Nebelung. From there, we'll build mighty and indomitable Panzerwaffe. Um, and I will release England, um, just so we can start doing some of this as well. I'll pop it in Grossbritannien, Challenge Royal Air Force, of course, Challenge Royal Navy, of course, Rudolf Sass' last mission. The War River has been won in, there's no need to continue the struggle with another Germanic race. Which we'll accept Hess's option, send him officially to Britain, offer peace deal. We should keep our victory in British, the British will keep the Empire. 
And I do want to do increased cooperation with the local population as well. Uh, French, Belgian, Dutch, foreign SS divisions, which does nothing for us, of course. I don't want to exploit the Vichy French. I want to actually increase their territorial mandate, of course. Improve the Atlantic Wall, maybe. Uh, I don't want to do this one either, which we can't do. Permit the gradual return of French POWs, which would be nice for them. Ease occupation costs. Step on the path of German-French alliance, maybe. That might not be bad. That would really help Sash quite a bit. Uh, retain the naval staff. Retain our naval staff will give us viable experience for navy and prepare more better naval commanders. The Kriegsmarine uh, Sol die Wellen Regierung. The navy is reborn. Our new, new modern battleships are leaving the ports. Intrepid sub wolf packs for all the seats. Our navy is once again a force to be reckoned with. Kriegsmarine shall rule the waves and gather foreign equipment. Fields of war are often more crowded with abandoned equipment and tanks. Uh, with a little effort, we can get them working for us against our enemy. And I do want to get uh, Bulgaria into the Axis. Of course, with that one, underline Bulgarian protection state. Eh, uh, no, we want this one. Boost Bulgarian war production as well as Unternehmen Maxen. Oh, well, they say no, but, you know, whatever. Um, of course, th unfortunately, the Turks did join the Outlaws, but we got them out. Oh, oh. We were ready to go to war with them. But, hey, I think we'll end the episode here. We'll see what happens by between now and the next episode. We'll definitely see what happens. Um, hopefully, legitimacy gain. Well, regardless. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll finish out this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of... Your day.